One of the things students always say is, tell us about teenagers and about how life is different in other countries. They want to compare their own experiences with other young people, how they're similar and how they're different. So we try to give students a window onto the world. They encounter people, places and events from across the globe, but with a special emphasis on English-speaking countries, including the USA, um, the UK, Ireland, Canada and Australia. Understanding the society, culture, lifestyles, values and history of countries where a language is spoken enriches the experience of learning a foreign language, especially if the contexts chosen are related to students' own lives and age group. Learning how people live their lives, what is important to them, what worries them or makes them happy, their friends, their families, their aspirations and experiences also deepen students' awareness of their own culture. It increases tolerance and the understanding that there are many equally valid ways of seeing the world. Students know when what they read, they hear or watch is authentic and genuine. They're looking for fresh, up-to-date language, just like the English that they meet in their daily lives, in videos, on the internet and in music. My most annoying habit is, without a doubt, playing with my nails. It really gets on my girlfriend's nerves when I do that. I think they long to be taught language that they can go out and use and be understood by people their own age. They want to fit in linguistically. So we provide realistic English set in the increasingly informal context of 21st century life, such as the interactions between friends and family, social media posts, text messages and so on, so that your students are learning the right language for their future lives.